Hello and welcome back in this special and amazing crazy video. This is the V16 King. Uh, you have probably uh, seen this engine before uh, in my previous video uh, as I called it the 4000 horsepower uh, V16 King engine. But in this video, uh, this engine got more powerful, uh, more efficient, more torquey. But before we start with all of the specs, I would love to tell you that uh, I'm gonna be making, or actually not, I'm gonna be not making. This is actually the first video of a new series called Automation Kings, and in this in this series, uh, you will you will be seeing uh, separate videos of uh, making each type of engine in an automation game because we have an automation game. We have here V16, V12, V10, V8 and a V6, inline 6, inline 4, and inline 3. So you will see individual videos of each type of each engine of each, of, of each engine type, making it super powerful, super torquey, and super big, and super expensive. So basically the most powerful engines in automation games, in the automation game. That's why I called it the uh, automation, uh, the automation King series, because in this series you will be seeing super powerful engines with super amount of horsepower, torque, and uh, crazy things. So uh, this is not this. Is, why am I mentioning this? Because this is a special series. Because everyone can participate in it. Anyone can get in and uh, make make your own video, and then you can share it with me, so I can choose a winner at the end of each each individual video. So let me give you an example. Like right now we have the V16 engine, I'm, I'm making the V16 video, but since every, since no one has the V16 uh, DLC, it's very rare from the developers, so right now I'm going to be telling everyone, if you want to participate, you need to make uh, your own V12 engine, make it super powerful, give me your highest number of horsepower and torque, and uh, the rules are very simple. Make some, make the highest horsepower and torque with, and keep the engine in the green zone. Make it safe. Make the engine uh, to run normally without knocking, without any kind of stress on the internals. And then you need to share a video. You need, you need to share a video or a picture with me on the Snapchat group uh, with your uh, with your result, with your engine result, so I can verify that you made the engine. Uh, so uh, so I can pick a winner of each category of each engine category and present the name of the winner. And uh, the photo of the engine that you sh that, uh, that you send me at the end of that video. Uh, yeah, that's it. So you need to if you want to participate, you need to add my channel. You need to add my uh, my Snapchat, which is Lord Bass 94, Lord B A S 94. You need to add me so I can add you on the Snapchat group. So after you make your own engine, so you can share the video uh, a video or a picture with me with the end result, so I can put it at the end of my video after I present my own engine at first. So basically, that's that's it. That's the that's the the challenge here. And so let's start with this engine. As you can see, it's a 90 degrees V-shaped 16-cylinder engine made in 2020 uh, using magnesium block, 120 millimeter on the bore, 114.4 millimeter on the stroke. So you, see, you can see here, as you can see, you don't you don't have to push the bore and stroke to 120 all the way. You can go smaller on the stroke. You can, you can go smaller on the bore. It's up to you. Do whatever you want to make as much power as you can. Dual overhead camshaft with five valves per cylinder. Also, you can use whatever option you want: overhead cam, direct overhead, direct acting overhead cam, anything. Choose whatever option you want. Just keep it in the green and give me the highest number in horsepower and torque. Aluminium silicon cylinder cylinder heads, as you can see. Billet steel crankshaft, lightweight titanium connecting rods, and forged pistons. Also, you can use any kind of Parts, as I mentioned before and of course everything should be on plus 15 quality so plus 15 quality on everything 10.61 uh, is the compression ratio uh, 84 on the cam profile variable valve timing in all cams plus 15 quality here twin turbo charges ball bearing internal uh, with with 5653 supporting horsepower horsepower supporting intercooler with maxed out 110 millimeter on the compressor, 91 millimeter on the turbine, maxed out air ratio, 36 psi of boost, plus 15 quality, direct fuel injections, throttle per cylinder, race intake, ultimate 100 octane fuel, maxed out air, uh, air fuel ratio, 84 on the ignition timing, 6900 is the RPM limit with plus 15 quality. Dual exhaust pipes, uh, as you can see, no restrictions whatsoever. 
uh, 8 inch exhaust diameter or 203 millimeters with plus 15 quality and this is the final result 4083.3 horsepower at 6900 rpm 4011 pound feet of torque at 5400 4500 rpm as you can see the engine is uh, reliable well no one cares about service service cost or a fuel economy where i'm using nearly all of the available octane fuel the emissions are well no one cares about these uh, as you can see the engine is still smooth because it's a, it's a v16 engine it's very responsive it's super super noisy it's super heavy as you can see a half a ton of an engine more than half a ton and yeah no one cares about anything here except that the engine is running green uh, and i want to see uh, as as high uh, the highest number you can go in horsepower and torque the highest number in the v in the v12 we will start with the v12s and then go smaller and smaller with v10 v8 v6 inline 6 inline 4 and inline 3 at the end so as you can see this is the engine firing it up the engine the engine is making at idle 1,251 pound-feet of torque at idle how super is that so this is by far a super engine So as you can see the engine is super super powerful I mean massive amounts of uh, horsepower and torque coming out of that engine as you can see everything here in the, in the green that's what I want this table to be all always in the green 0% stress on all of the part no valve float no knocking nothing the valve, the flow bench well I don't care here if, if, if something in, in black yellow red whatever the color is I don't care about it in the flow bench but the torque and rpm bench or the table here this is what i care about and so you need, everything needs to be in the green everything should be zero percent of stress and give me your highest number in horsepower and torque and then the highest number on horsepower and torque with these conditions will be, will be pronounced as the winner at the end of each video each type of each engine so uh, thank you so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed this massive beast here let me fire it up again for you after I finish talking so you can enjoy it a little bit more. Please remember if you enjoy the video, hit that like button, get subscribed, share the video and of course hit that notification bell button so you can get a notification each time I release a new video. And as I mentioned, if you want to participate in this challenge to make your own powerful engine, you need to have the game at first, you need to have automation game and then uh, you need to add my snapchat, it's lordbass94 lord bas94 so you can send me your picture on the channel group or separately or privately on in, in a separate chat it's okay just send me the picture of your result uh, of, of your horsepower and torque and the flow bench together in a single picture not not separate so i can verify that your engine is running perfectly without any problem and also i prefer a video if you can take a video to be much more much more um, truthful so thank you so much for watching now let me fire this beast for you and Enjoy listening to it.
as you can see the engine is super powerful and I'm really happy with the end result here because my previous video, my previous version of the V16 King you pushed 4000 horsepower, 4000 pound feet of torque so this one we got 83 extra horsepower and 11 extra pound feet of torque so thank you so much for watching, I'm gonna see you very very soon and I'm, and I'm really excited to see your results on the Snapchat group of what can you come up with with the V12 and I want all of the on all of the results I want you all to uh, send me your uh, results of your, uh, to your V12 um, yeah ending result uh, before I start recording the V12 and before I before I upload it so you got like we got you got 24 hours to make your V12 engine and to send me your participation pictures so I can verify the results and pick a winner at the end so thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have fun and you have a wonderful day or evening or night or whatever time you're watching this video and goodbye for now my friends.